Man, Rooster, it's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Arr, arr, arr. And welcome back, everybody. Do you know? It's that show. I'm Rooster. I'm Bishop. And today, it's zero to you. Zero cost. Zero percent interest. <laughs> zero down. <laughs> but it's got to come from somewhere. $3.5 trillion? Yeah. That's just shit. That's Out what of I'm nowhere. saying. <laughs> not, you don't just get $3.5 trillion to drop on whatever you want. It's like, no, 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 no. <clears throat> it's not going to cost you a dime. I wonder, where do they, where do they find it? I want it, I want that couch. They make it right. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps coming out. <laughs> what the heck, couch? I mean, I want it. What's in between those cushions, dude? They just print it out, right? I mean, no, I mean, come on, really? I mean, that just totally devalues our money. I just got something in my fucking eyeball. Oh, bro. it's common sense. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> common sense. Finally got it. I've been waiting all these days. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, does that happen to both eyes? <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford that's your good eye. You can't afford it. I know, that's eye. what I'm saying. I'm like, I just started rubbing it and everything's blurry, and I was like, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't afford to look this <laughs> too. <laughs> but seriously though, have you actually like read through the bill and like what's in it? Certain little I mean, bits and pieces. Obviously it's twenty five hundred pages. So yeah. I don't think I mean, any person has read through it, but I mean even Homer would go, that's fucking ridiculous. Because <laughs> when he wrote the Odyssey, he was probably, by the time he got to the end of it, he was like, I can't do anymore. Right? <laughs> I just can't do anymore. At first, I was, like, I was like, Homer? I was like, does he mean like Homer Simpson? Do it! Do it! Yeah, I mean, there's some weird things that are wrapped up. And there's, there's, there's weird things that are happening with regular tax laws. Did you hear that at the beginning of the year, next year, that if your bank account has more than six hundred dollars in it, any time a transaction comes in, it gets reported to the IRS. Yep, I heard about it, and so I've been seeing a lot of things mm. about it online. But I've all I've been seeing at first. I, I heard that, and a lot of people were freaking out about that. But now I'm seeing all these people saying like, no, 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 they're, you're misleading the information. It's only for business accounts. I've been seeing people say that it's only for accounts. For actual businesses that process money, anything over six hundred dollars. So that made me feel a little bit better, <sighs> rather than trying to squeeze every penny out of all the poor people. <laughs> but I, but don't you think that that's still gonna that still trickles down? I mean, there's. Oh yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not saying. Oh, that, yeah. I'm not saying that you know a business. I mean, come on, honestly. I mean, what kind of business are you running that you don't have a, a, a regular deposit over six hundred? Exactly. Bucks? Yeah. Really? I mean, why would you be in business? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously. This right. isn't the PPP loans. <laughs> that everybody was like, no, 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 no. I have a canary business. I clean their fucking bottoms of their cages. I need $40,000. And now they're doing fucking five years in federal penitentiary. Right. <laughs> Maybe that's where their plan to get the money is. Is squeezing it out of anybody who makes more than $600. <laughs> oh, you made enough to eat today? You're giving me the rest. Yeah. I'm sorry. No soup for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, it, it's depressing. It is depressing. It, I don't say that to be uh, um, demeaning in any way, but it is depressing. Uh, when you look at the total numbers, so I... And again, I would have to fact check this, but I, I read somewhere that during the Trump presidency, his total expenditure with the government was something in the tune of nine trillion dollars. Okay. Right. By my math, the way it's working, you know, math is math is racist, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was a throwback for our new subscribers. <laughs> but three point five trillion. What was that? One and a half trillion at the beginning of the presidency. That brings us to six if this thing passes. And we're not even the first That's year out. <laughs> like, you're on track to go to warp speed, dude. Like, right. No more economy whatsoever. Seriously, though. But to, what, what I tell you was like $10,000. If this $3.5 yeah, trillion dollar yeah. deal goes through, that's a tax burden on the, every U.S. citizen, man, woman, and child. Of ten thousand dollars. 
No. But it's zero to you. Zero? Zero. Zero. I mean, you won't notice it, right? <laughs> I mean, God. Jeez, well, you don't need your money. <laughs> but, but then you also look at what's happening at the border. And just thousands and thousands and thousands of illegal immigrants coming into the country that if they don't go to their hearings and they don't do this and they don't do that, right. guess what? They work for cash. Yeah. And guess what? They're not paying that bill. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? Exactly. And if anything, <laughs> they're taking support money oh, that yeah. they can get. So oh, it's yeah. like they're costing us more. Well, I think Forbes said that something to the tune of like a third of the percentage of illegal immigrants in this country take some form of state subsidy. Yeah. Right? What in the absolute donkey? That's actually less than I was expecting. But that's a lot. It is a lot. But that's it's a still lot. only a third of them. I figured it would be closer to two thirds, if not more. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, the statistics could be completely off, and the numbers could be because you don't even you know how many you have. Them. Yeah, you that's don't true. Even know. You can't track them. You don't even know. I mean, come on, seriously, <laughs> this is ridiculous. But it's zero to you, James. Oh, it's not zero. It's zero. To me. It's not zero to me. <laughs> I mean, the only way it would be zero to us is if, like, we actually just cut ties and actually went gather everybody we know and go up to the middle of nowhere in Alaska and right. just in the middle of fucking nowhere and then somebody walks in like it's some bad you know Viking movie and <laughs> people <laughs> running around with war paint on it shit and carrying axes <laughs> like I definitely took the wrong turn here <laughs> shouldn't be here real though yeah I'm it's not knowing anything about like macroeconomics or like how long term this is going to impact the country, it's interesting to think about what will happen if we just continue to push the debt ceiling to a point where it's like, what even does it like? How do you even conceptualize what it is? How, many, how honestly, right now, in the way the world is with the pandemic, what country can afford to buy our debt? Seriously, though, is I don't Who? think anyone. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? Because otherwise, they'd be shitting on their own people, right? <laughs> They're like, we are going to give you this $20 billion, but you know what? We're going to buy this $20 billion in American debt because... You mean trillion? No. Billion. That's just a piece. <laughs> because they know it's going to be worth $500 billion by the time we can pay for it. <laughs> right? Though? That's what I'm saying. It's never like we're going to start making enough money where we can pay off our debt. Like, costs are just going to continue to accrue until our country just blows up. Well, it's called default. I Which mean, is what exactly? It's just like anything else. Like it, you, you take a loan out. It's on like something. bankruptcy, or yeah. okay, yeah. You default on it, right? And now the guarantee that you gave you mean basically means our word would be worse shit. Yeah. Right. I mean, we're not that far off from it, anyways. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's just because of what's happening now. <clears throat> I would say in my lifetime, we've been teetering on that shit for the entirety that I've been alive. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but. What country can really afford to give us more money that's worth more than ours? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, this isn't... Th we need Grant. Right. <laughs> we need Grant. He's the economics guy. For real, though. He could break it down. Solve the country, Grant. Hey. Fix it all. DGG. <laughs> We're calling you out. <laughs> We're sending the signal. <laughs> <laughs> we need your mastermind. <laughs> because the socioeconomics of this is just ridiculous. The macro and the micro, just the GDP fluctuations that have been happening for the last six months. This is this is not good. This is right. I mean, everybody's like, oh, we're going to a deep recession. Fuck a recession. Right. It's called a depression. <laughs> <laughs> right. This shit is making me depressed. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see and know more about what is actually in this three point five trillion dollar deal. From what, from what I've heard, they packed so much stuff in it that the goal is like they're trying to get like Republican senators and stuff to agree on it because it's like you want 70% of the stuff that's in this bill to happen. So either you turn down the entire bill, the stuff you don't want to happen and you do want to happen, or you just accept it and... You know, so it's like they're backing them into a corner, kind of where they're if yeah. they want things done that they yeah. want done, then they're going to be forced to sign the bill. Yeah, and I and I I can understand that point of view. I mean, it's a, it's a strong arm tactic, but at the same time, I, what worries me? Let's just use your numbers, like seventy five or seventy percent is actually let's say it's actually beneficial, right? Mm -hmm. 
What's the other 30%? Right. And what kind of sneaky shit is laying in there that says, no, once it's enacted, you can't get rid of it? Yeah, exactly. Right? It's not like and, you could just sit down and read it either and figure out what's in it because it's 2,500 yeah. pages. I think we did, what did we do the math? If every representative and congressperson, see I did that right there. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, if 20, 25, if 25 interns. Exactly. If each senator had 25 interns to read it. They well, each have to read 100 pages. And then come up with the cliff notes. Yeah, the consensus <laughs> of what the fuck that all meant. <laughs> I mean, that, but I mean, I, I get it. Legal and, and law students, I mean, they, they can go through piles of information like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. And how they're able to pick like certain things out and it just sticks right here. I mean, I got a crazy <laughs> brain, but that shit right there is like a bag of popcorn. Right. <laughs> and it's just popping off in there left and right. And you're just holding on to the good bits and leaving the burnt bits out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Spitting out the seeds. But uh, how they would be able to do that, and the, the way that they that, that, that this current government is like pushing this bill, like it, it's all or nothing. Exactly. That doesn't seem right. There's that, That's a big red flag. For real, though. Why can't we break this apart and look at it? Right. There's something wrong here. Exactly. There's it's something like, wrong. You think that the way our democracy should work is that you would break apart each issue and then everyone would vote on it and be like, what do we all think about this issue? Right. And like, rather than bunching them all together and be like, well, if you want this to happen, then you better just agree to it all. <coughs> it doesn't make any sense. Kind of scary. I don't know, but it's free to you. <laughs> but zero to you. <laughs> to you. Zero. And to you. And to you. <laughs> and to you. Not to you. Not so much. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> but... Everybody else, you're fine. Right. <laughs> hey, everybody, let us know how the, you, you think about this, if you've even heard about it. I mean, there, you'd be surprised how many people don't even know what's happening right now. Right. Leave those comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Do it. Get it in front of your friends. Yes. Um, I don't even care if you tell us what color socks you're wearing. Just <laughs> let us know what's going on. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I don't care. But it is just insane. There's going to be some rough waters over the next few months. For real. And I either people are going to come together or they're going to get torn apart even more than they are. So I hope that's not the case. Right. Scary. But I, I feel like there's no way that... It doesn't look like it's going to be coming together anytime soon from our track record, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This is definitely going to be an uphill battle. Right. <laughs> That are no battle at all. <laughs> to be real. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to get stamped. You might as well just put barcodes on everybody. <laughs> like, right? Every time you get paid, they're like, oh, Citizen oh. 201085. You still owe $9,174. <laughs> we have tracked your bank account has an history of $50 this month. You owe $30 of that to the government. <laughs> not good people no it's not <laughs> let's hope for the best everybody yep. <laughs> but unless the next round's on you guys we gotta go cheers. cheers that does it for today's video guys thanks for watching be sure to leave a like and subscribe to you know that show <laughs>